hey what is up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is emma if you're new here and today tonight in this video i'm going to be taking you guys through and showing you what my i don't i don't even know if it's, is it an after school or night routine i don't know i don't know anyway my whatever i title this my afternoon night routine for back to school because the, today was the first day of term three i mean i shouldn't be building this up i actually love school so much and it's currently six not even 6 30 6 23 p.m half an hour ago i got home and i've just sat down to watch some youtubes i'm watching some jess and gabe and uh, obviously i don't do this like what i'm about to show you i don't do this every night but I currently have oh this is seriously that active wear by the way i love it but i currently have these shoes on because i'm breaking them in because i'm going to a school ball this weekend so I need to make sure that those are not going to drive my feet insane so I'm breaking them and they're the same ones I wore to my ball but I'm just breaking them in so my feet get used to them again which is awesome hence why the socks are on would not wear these with socks if I was actually going out in public it is soup for dinner tonight so I'm going to watch this video and then I have to do a Instagram post for a local business so I went in there after school today actually and took some photos of what they want to post on their social media tonight so I have to do that for them on Facebook and Instagram and then this afternoon after I did that I went and visited my grandparents for an hour and then I went and got my eyebrows waxed for the ball this weekend and then I came home and here we are so let's watch some Jess and Gabe okay jokes got a minute and a half into the video and I just got called for dinner, so dinner time. Hi, this is this is me washing my hands before dinner because I wash my hands before I eat because I am a clean freak. Right, let's go get some Kai in these tummies of ours. Yummy. Dinner's done and I had a cookie and a roll of crunchy chocolate for dessert. And I'm also, you can probably hear my voice, I'm a bit sick. I got sick when, like, the last, like, two nights so I was in Fiji, which is awesome. So, I really love that. But back to Jess and Gabe's vlog. And then after that, I need to stop procrastinating because I have some business studies homework that I need to do. If you haven't, I, I mean, I don't know. If you guys don't watch Jess and Gabe for starters, you need to watch Jess and Gabe. They are actually, they're amazing. But this, I think it's their most, a second most recent video called Surprising My Husband with an Emotional Gift. Oh my gosh. No, third recent. Sorry. I'm a bit behind. I've been away. But it's called Surprising My Husband with an Emotional Gift. And oh my gosh, it is so cute. So, so cute. So yeah, definitely watch that. If you guys don't follow Jess and Gabe, basically, Jess is an Australian, Gabe's an American, and they live in America. For Jess to better get her residency, she had to stay in America until she got it. And it's been two and a half years and she hasn't been home. And I spoke up this morning and saw on Instagram that she was going home to Australia and I was like, oh, it made me so happy. But now I'm going to watch that video. It's only a minute 34. But yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I love love. What the heck? I'm like tearing up. That pulled the heartstrings a little bit. Looks like I'm going to be facing my boyfriend in a minute. So I'll catch you guys after that because he doesn't like being in the vlog. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's currently quarter past seven. So I'll see you guys after I face him. Now I am sorting out my business studies homework which is my marketing plan which i've done with my business studies groups there's four of us each have to do our individual parts we're just making adjustments now and i have to get that sent off to the teacher tonight so i need to get my skates on and get that sent off to her because i'm a ceo so it's kind of <coughs> see i'm sick kind of my responsibility to get that sorted so i'm gonna crack on with that but basically i just have to go through making little adjustments can't show you sorry because it's classified information 9 38 p.m the work has been submitted to my teacher and i've just been sitting here with mum going through the waikato university degree planner because i think that's where i'm going to go next year i'm not entirely sure but i think that's what i'm kind of leaning towards but i still have a lot of decisions to make between now and pretty much end of next month because that's kind of application time. Time to get ready for bed. Let's go. We're going to kick this off by shutting down my laptop and putting it away. And while that's shutting down, I'm gonna don't normally do this on my knees, but today we are because I don't have a tripod on my camera. So I take off my jewelry. Except I do leave on the ring on my thumb because otherwise if I take it off, uh, my cheeks are so red. 
I end up like scratching the sides of my thumb so I only take it off the netball and then off comes my little bracelet which this actually broke the other day but my dad fixed it so that was good oh yeah and when I was facing my boyfriend I went downstairs and made myself a hot chocolate which was really yummy and then necklace comes off which is the I get so many questions about this it's just the Karen Walker runaway necklace which Karen Walker is a New Zealand designer so I'm not sure like she's a like world renowned designer but I'm not sure if you can buy her jewellery overseas don't quote me on that but I know you can definitely get it in selected jewellers in New Zealand and online obviously so I can put that away and now I need to take the 300,000 million trillion zillion pillows off my bed just kidding there's only six I stack them all in like a little pile on the floor here next to my bed so when I get up in the morning first thing I do is I put them back on and remake my bed because I like getting into a bed that has been made and then I just lay out my big mink blanket on my bed because it's winter and it's cold and I don't really not really a huge fan of the cold time to get changed into my pajamas let's go pajamas on and these socks, I want to give a special mention to Socks for Smiles. They are a non-profit organisation charity in Auckland who have a website where they have these awesome, like, amazing socks where I got these bad boys from, which is pink bed socks. Super fluffy, super duper fluffy. And they donate their profits to help put smiles on kids' faces who are going through not the best of times. So I think that's really cool. Not spons, but... They're just incredible and it's such an incredible cause. So let's go fill up my drink bottle and take some magnesium. I also took some medicine for my cold after dinner because I'm sick and I want to get over it super quick fast because being sick is not fun. I'm going to take some magnesium because I'm on some medication which means that my magnesium levels are lower than what they should be which isn't good because that means that I get muscle cramps and can't sleep very well. This is my drink bottle, this is my prized possession. I got it from Swell when I was in the start of year 11. It cost me 60 bucks. At the time, um, my family gave me a lot of crap for that, but it was worth it. It's lasted me two and a half years, and it's great because it keeps my water cold. I'm gonna put something hot in it, it keeps it hot because it's like double layer stainless steel, which is great. Right, skin care, let's go. Right, get some hot water in the sink and put in a face cloth. Put some cold in there too. This is running quite low, but I use this. I've shown this in a vlog before. The Avene Mousse Hyd... No, that doesn't say hydration. That's in another language. Mousse Cleansing Foam. This is going to be a really cool angle, but I just do two pumps of that. And then just rub a lot all over my face and it kind of looks like shaving foam for a second, but that's fine. Just rub that all in, like so. It's probably really awkward because the camera's at a really awkward height. Rinse it all off. Sometimes I towel dry my face, but other times I sort of ear dry while I brush my teeth. Here we go, uh, don't use that toothpaste. This toothpaste and this toothbrush, and just a little, little, they're calling a little myrtle on my toothbrush. And then you brush for two minutes, let's go. secret side I don't actually brush my teeth for two minutes so now that teeth are brushed and my face is like air dried I will moisturize I just use 10% urea cream you can get it prescribed but you can just buy it in pharmacies and I just put it everywhere on my face and if I don't use this then I use the Avene Zero Calm AD and now I go back to my room and hop into bed let's go so I do lay out my uniform before I go to bed, but obviously I can't show you that because I can't show my school uniform. But before I go to bed, I also put on lip balm and hand cream. My lips are so dry from being sick, which is not nice at all. I also use this Living Light Vanilla Sky hand cream, which smells absolutely beautiful. I just like a little tiny bit on my hand and rub it all in because no one likes dry hands, that's disgusting. I feel like I'm leaving something out. I feel like that didn't take me as long as it normally would. Oh. I put my watch on charge. Here we go. And this is my inhaler and all that crap because your girl's sick. And normally I would put this little light on. It's like, oh, oh gosh. It's got like a little switch there and it was really cute. I don't know if you can see. That's literally glass from the lid. And every time I fell off my bedside table, it made like a, like, something like glass smashing. And I wonder why. It's because the glass was smashing. So that's... 
that's quite cool so now i'm too scared to turn it on so that mm, yeah now i just get into bed and turn off my light and go sleepy nun eyes i think that brings this video to a close but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for your continuing love and support so she's always linked down below you guys absolutely killing it on the instagram game and want to make a special mention to instagram thank you to instagram for removing being able to see how many likes other people's photos gets so many people get caught up in worrying about how many likes they get compared to others and that doesn't matter you guys are incredible you need to know that you are amazing you are you and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise okay thank you guys so much for watching my son's smile and i'll catch you guys in next week's video Here stuck in it, that's disgusting. <coughs> okay, this. I'm not gonna go to Come on, come on, come on, I didn't train you like this. Come on.